Alright, what is going on, everybody? So today I'm going to be giving you guys some 2023 NBA Draft Superlatives. Uh, and, yeah, so 2023 NBA Draft just concluded last night. Um, definitely one of the most interesting drafts I've ever seen. But it was one of the most exciting ones that I've ever seen. Um, I was really excited about um, this year's NBA Draft. But yeah, let's just get into it. So my winners of the 2023 NBA Draft are the Portland Trailblazers now. This might surprise some people, but I think Scoo Henderson should have gone to, to the Charlotte Hornets. Uh, I don't think they should have gone best fit. Brandon Miller is an amazing player, but I think Scoo Henderson was the best player available. Um, and... Portland also got, now I understand Anthony Simons, Shaden Sharp, you have so many guards on that team, Damian Lillard, like you think they trade Dame, I don't think they trade Dame, uh, we'll see though, a anything's possible, um, but I really think they, it comes down to, I don't think they trade Shaden Sharp, I think Shaden Sharp and Scoo are a lock right now, as those guards, I really think it comes down to Damian Lillard and Anthony Simons. Uh, but Portland, they also got Chris Murray in the draft, which is a win now player. Like that kind of tells me that, uh, they want to keep Damian Lillard. Um, and they also got one of the biggest steals in the draft, uh, Ryan Rupert, who I was really high on. Uh, I had him going like top 25. Um, you know, I think it would have been fine if he went like top 20 like he I'm really high on him great size um great length uh it's kind of a wing that they need honestly um but yeah I think they're winners um could argue the Rockets uh I'm not including the Spurs in this because they got Victor one Banyama uh I know lots of people aren't including them with uh, their draft superlatives, um, just to clarify, I am not including San Antonio Spurs, uh, but yeah. Alright, so my losers of the 2023 NBA draft are the Orlando Magic. Now, I don't really like to call, like, a team losers of the draft, you know, right away, because the draft was yesterday, so... Really hard to tell, um, and they didn't even have a bad draft, like, they had, I just really think Jet Howard was a reach, I don't even hate the Anthony Black pick that much, um, like, once again, these are, like, really good prospects, uh, Jet Howard definitely should have gone in the top 20, in my opinion, uh, I mocked him 17 to the Lakers, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure, uh, but, I don't know, and I'm not, like, I know a lot of people aren't fans of Anthony Black pick. Neither am I, really. I did mock, mock Anthony Black to them a couple times. Uh, I think he might have been to the Magic Mike final mock draft, but uh, I, I, I don't know. Uh, and, like, Asura's already off the board, so you can give him that. But uh, I'm going to save the Magic here. Hey, and now my best pick of the... 2023 NBA draft, besides Victor Wan Banyama, Jairus Walker is my pick, yeah, you know, you probably think I'd say, um, you probably would think I'd say Scoot Henderson, uh, or like a Men Thompson or a Sore Thompson, I really like the fit of Jairus Walker on the Indiana Pacers, um, I think it's like the best fit-wise, like, for, uh, the Pacers, and just, like, the entire NBA draft, like, this was such a good pick, um, for the Indiana Pacers, um, it didn't get traded, um, in case you were confused, uh, Bilal Colabelli ended up going to the Wizards and Grace Walker to the Pacers, um, but, love this pick for the Pacers, um, and, like, I think he'll be able to play. We'll see what they do with Miles Turner, but love this pick. Um, and I, I, I did kind of want to be different because I already picked the Trailblazers uh, to win the draft. But 
I, I just really like Trace Walker to the Pacers. Um, bring so much. We'll bring so much to the table for them. Uh, and yeah. For my steal of the 2023 NBA draft, I have Colby Jones. Uh, Colby Jones uh, was traded to, let me see, I already forget who, I think he was picked by the Hornets, uh, yeah, so he was picked by, and then traded to the Kings, so the Kings was actually, like, one of the, one of the teams I was really excited, um, that I'd be really excited, they got him, and they did, uh, so Colby Jones, I think, could be, like, he was looked at as a top 20 prospect, top 20 guy, top 15 guy in the big boys, and fell to 34, which is pretty crazy, um, and once again, just the fit on the Kings is really nice, so it's gonna be great for him, um, but yeah, he has a lot of talent, a lot of upside, um, steal of the draft, in my opinion, uh, some honorable mentions, you could say Cam Whitmore, but steals typically come, um, steals are typically looked at for second round picks, uh, could also say Maxwell Lewis out of Pepperdine, Leonard Miller, uh, could be another one, uh, even James Najee, I guess, if you're high on him, which I, I was kind of high on James Najee, only 18, like the youngest player in the draft, uh, but yeah, what do you guys think of this? Um, I'll probably be, I don't know when I'll be dropping my way too early 2024 NBA mock draft, uh, but I'm going to do it. Obviously, still be doing a lots of college basketball content. Uh, but yeah, just subscribe for that, and yeah, I'll see you next one.